So we have taken you through the main living spaces in our home and today we're moving to the master bedroom. When you walk into our master bedroom, you enter a vestibule, which I'm standing in right now. We did this beautiful Rita detail and Tyler hand cut every single one of these pieces to lay this molding that I dreamed up and brought it to life. I love that it has this moody effect and then you walk into our master bedroom and you're greeted by all of this natural light. We are standing in our master bedroom. Very excited about the vaulted ceiling in here and having a fireplace in our bedroom, which we have never had. With these great vaulted ceilings, I wanted to draw your eye up. So we incorporated a shiplap with a beam detail. You know, I love white paint, but I really wanted to mix it up. So we painted our ceiling actually a darker color than our walls. Usually it's the reverse where we'll go white on the ceiling and a little darker on the walls. But here we did the Swiss coffee at 75% on the walls. And then I did a color called natural cream by Benjamin Moore on the ceiling. And I did it in a matte finish so that it didn't have a like a sheen to it, and then tied that color in with our fireplace. I wanted the fireplace to have a traditional old world feel, so we did this molding detail and this little bump out here. Then we used a remnant from our kitchen countertops and used that on the surround here. We partnered with The Shade Store for our window treatments throughout our entire home. Their window treatments are handcrafted in the USA and custom window treatments make all the difference in a project from the pleats to the way they hang and they add a really great layer and texture to a room. When you have shades, blinds, and drapery custom made to get the measurements of your windows just right, the results are so much better than what you might get with a pre-made product. One of the great things about working with The Shade Store is that they help you with every single step of the process. They make it so easy to do custom window treatments with clients that are nearby and our clients that are long distance that it makes it a go-to resource for us in our design projects. And they have consultants in showrooms nationwide, but we actually use their virtual consultation process. A professional measurement and installation team comes out and makes sure that your window treatments fit perfectly. And they have over 1,300 fabric samples. So you better believe I ordered lots to come to my house and choose the perfect ones. I love to use woven shades as the foundation for our window treatments, especially because you can pick the level of privacy. In all the bedrooms, we did blackout liner and motorized shades. So you can just wake up and push a button. In a few of our spaces, we did an additional layer. In here, we did these beautiful drapes in a luxe linen in the oyster color, and they have this great lining. We do not have working drapes, these are for looks, but they have an extra fullness to them so they still look high end. I love this channel back headboard from Miggy & Co because it blends masculine and feminine styles really well. I decided to go with this beautiful green color. It is stunning, but it's not bright, but still a color. So it felt a little risky to go for it, but I'm so glad we did because it set the tone for the entire room. It ties in with these beautiful floral pillows and then this lumbar. I had this vintage fabric just in our basement, just sitting there forever and decided to make just like the longest lumbar ever to finish off our bed. We've layered linens and then I love to put a throw at the end of the bed just in case you need another layer. Our master bedroom had enough space that we could fit a bench at the end of our bed. 
So we carry this Adamson bench and it has this huge down cushion and then these leather strap details on it. And it's not just like a bench, it's basically a day bed. It's so wide and my kids can come in and lay on it and we use this all of the time. Every space is different, but I'd say we use an eight by 10 rug in most master bedrooms. We did this kind of olive green gray rug from McGee & Co. And I love that it ties in all of the tones in this room really beautifully. We have a little bit of gray, cream, beige, green, a little bit of blue. It just brings it all together. We had some wood elements with the bench and then this amazing dresser that we just launched and it has this great kerf detail, which ties in with our ceilings. And then we have these little brass poles that I think are a little bit dainty and so pretty on this wood detail here. With all of those wood tones, we wanted to break up some of the wood grain. So we did steel nightstands. and then tied in the neutrals yet again with this artwork above our dresser. That is from McGee & Co. And then you can see we have our accessories. If you have wall space left over after you've placed your bed and nightstands and dresser, I always suggest doing a tall leaning mirror. This is a great spot to get ready. It bounces the light really well. So after I placed the leaning mirror here, we had artwork over our dresser. I was kind of not sure exactly what to put over our mantle. So I kind of toyed with a couple of different options and then decided to do this antiqued mirror. I love that this round mirror has an antiqued effect so that both mirrors can live on the same wall. And then we layered this sketched art that's one of my favorites. I think it's so beautiful. And then we incorporated some collected items and sconces from McGee & Co. If you're designing a master bedroom and the space plan is large enough to incorporate a chair, I love to put a chair moment, as we call it, in the corner. This chair is really beautiful. It has this nice swing back. It swivels and is very comfortable. We placed that with a little side table ottoman, incorporated some leather here, and this modern floor lamp that I think sets off the curves on the chair. You've seen our master bedroom. Next week, we'll be headed into the master bathroom. If you haven't seen the other videos of our home tour, go check them out.